average income of your clients? Uh, good question. Good question. I think I'm going to break it down into different categories. So I, I, I've got quite a few people who are like between four and 10K. I got a, 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 a big group that's right there. I would say that's like, this is probably like my biggest group between four, 10K a month. And then I got a couple lower ones, obviously the two, the three, right? Uh, but mostly four to 10K a month. Then I've got the, the 10K to, to 20. And this is a, definitely like a smaller group, right? And then I got the 20K to 80K a month. And this is, a, this is my smallest group right here, 20 to 80K, right? Very rare, uh, yeah, very, yeah, I got like one client that's doing like a little above 80 grand, but I, I haven't had anyone doing 100K a month consistently, conservatively. Maybe they did it like one month or something like that. But these are, this is the breakdown of my average clientele. Once you, once you start getting here, with your finances, right? Velocity banking is cool and all, but it's really like infinite banking that might be a little more attractive to you, kingdom authority, 10xing your income, debt leveraging, that becomes a little more important to you. But when you're down here, four to 10K, velocity banking is like the most amazing thing, right? It's great. But then as you start making more money, wiping out debt, you begin to say, okay, velocity banking was wonderful. Let's go leverage that. Let's go 10x. Let's start a business. Let's build business credit and all this stuff.